I want to talk to you today about the energy of love versus the emotion of love. Let's start with the emotion of love. The emotion of love is super heartfelt. It's the kind of love that you would know it because it's the way you feel about your family members, your children, your spouse if you have one, um, it's your family, it's your best friends. This is the type of love that when you're in a relationship, you go the distance. It's kind of karmic too. You know that you are gonna do your work, be self-reflective, say you're sorry. It's not a kind of love that you give up on or that you don't take seriously. It's kind of like a contract, you know? Now the energy of love in its most simplest terms is the kind of universal love, it, unlike um, the emotion of love where it actually takes your own personal energy. It's like emotional energy that comes from your body. The energy of love is very universal. It's the kind of love you can draw on from nature. It's the kind of love you can draw on from the divine, if that's something you believe in. It's the kind of love that's universal in nature. It's the kind of smile you give to a stranger to help their day be better. It's the compliment you give to someone at the grocery store when you say, gosh, your eyes are beautiful. I think it's also the most appropriate love to express and play with when you're dating. It's the kind of love you tap into in the beginning of a relationship before you're willing to sign that contract that says, I am really gonna go far with you. I'm gonna do my work. I'd be willing to do therapy. It's a committed kind of love. And I think it's a mistake that a lot of single people make when they are dating. It's like they jump all in too soon and they don't double check, is this person feeling the same way I'm feeling? Are we on track? Are we going at the same pace? Because the emotion of love kind of throws, opens its doors and says, Okay, ready or not, I'm putting you in my heart. So one of the things that you can do is, because this would sink up on me, I'd be dating someone and like, there would be a room in my heart that would kind of crack open and go, ooh, I wanna put you there. Are you ready to be there? And so I was just honest about those times and experiences. And when I was ready to sort of go deeper and hoping they felt the same way, I would just ask, like, is this working for you? Are we going somewhere? Are we ready to start? Maybe consider being more serious because I wanna make sure that we're going at the same pace. And this emotion of love door is starting to open, but I'm not gonna put you there unless you're ready, unless that door is opening for you too. And if we're not at the same pace, that's okay. I'll just gently close that door. I'm not closing myself off. I'm just saying, I'm not putting you that deep into my heart yet, but in the meantime, I'm gonna be present. I'm gonna fountain the energy of love to you. I'm gonna receive the energy of love from you. And um, I'm going to pace myself. I'm also gonna to continue to protect myself, not wall myself off, but I'm not going to put myself at risk of getting hurt. And that doesn't mean that I don't love. It's just, I'm aware of the difference between the two. So how do you really do this well? Well, if you're being sexual with someone, your brain is being flooded with hormones. And those hormones are trying to convince you that you are in the emotion of love. But my friends, you are not. You are under the influence of a very powerful cocktail. And that cocktail is made up of testosterone, which gives you that drive that makes you wanna tear each other's clothes off. It is flooding you with oxytocin. Ooh, it's that bonding chemical. It's giving you hits of dopamine and opioids, which is well-being and it's bliss and it's bringing out the best of you and the best of them. But don't be confused. That is not the emotion of love my beloveds, that could be simply the energy of love wanting to seduce you into the emotion of love, but beware buyers. Keep that heart close to you and make a conscious choice to dive into the emotion or to stay in the energy. Love, love, love. This is Leah with More Love Works. Till next time.